Greetings, mother factors. My name is Sam, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about an entire continent. <laughs> yes, it's everyone's ancestral motherland, Africa. It's big, it's hot, it's inspired from the greatest songs of all time that I may be referencing several times in this video. What's not to like? But which African nation is known for its whimsical coffins? What's so special about the Vodoma tribe of northern Zimbabwe? Let us know what you think in the poll up above. And is the movie Madagascar, like, you know, is it is it based on a true story? Just, just asking for a friend. Two out of three of those questions are going to be answered. So pull on your safari pants, grab your vuvuzela, and stop an old man along the way as we count through 101 facts about Africa. Number one. <laughs> Africa is the second largest and second most populous continent in the world. It's beaten to first place in both categories by Asia because Asia is a psycho bitch who lives for drama. Number two. Continental Africa is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean to the east, and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. If you can't find it with those directions, I mean, I just, I just simply pity you. Number three. As I mentioned a little while earlier, Africa is big. The continental mainland and adjacent islands measure in at roughly 30.3 million square kilometers. That works out at around 6% of Earth's total surface area and a whopping 20% of Earth's total land area. Yep, that's right, one in five places is Africa. Number four. Despite being the second largest continent, Africa actually has the shortest coastline due to its distinct lack of peninsulas and rough edges around its continental mainland. It's completely smooth, baby. Number five. Africa also includes Madagascar and a number of other smaller island groups, known to highfalutin science people as archipelagos. Number six. Africa is also the most centrally located continent in the world, as it has land both along the equator at zero degrees latitude and the prime meridian at eight degrees longitude. Sadly, the prime meridian I just mentioned is an entirely arbitrary contrivance that could have been placed anywhere. So theoretically, South America could have been the world's most centered continent. You got lucky, Africa. Number seven. There are numerous theories regarding the origin of the word Africa. Possibly the most widely accepted interpretation is that Africa derived from Afri, a Latin term referring to a native Libyan tribe that was generally applied to all people living in lands south of the Mediterranean. Number eight. In the early Mesozoic era, roughly 250 million years ago, Africa was fused together with other continents as part of a huge supercontinent called Pangaea. Over millions of years, this Pangaea broke apart into smaller chunks, much like a doomed horror movie search party would. Number nine. Africa is widely accepted to be the point of origin for Homo sapiens. If you don't know what they are, by the way, you're looking at one. Well, if you're looking at a human, that is. Evidence suggests that the first Homo sapiens emerged in Central Eastern Africa somewhere between 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. And there was much rejoicing, I can imagine. I mean, humans were going to f everything up, but at the time, I'm sure everyone was delighted. Number 10. In 1974, scientists discovered roughly 40% of the skeleton of a female hominid in Ethiopia, who would have lived roughly 3.2 million years ago. The individual of the species, oh dear, okay, let's give this a go, Australopithecus afarensis was nicknamed Lucy. Lucy came from Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles, which was played repeatedly in the expedition camp on the night of the discovery. Number 11. <laughs> These first modern humans began to leave Africa somewhere between 70,000 and 100,000 years ago, moving into Europe and Asia. Early humans likely exited the African continent either across the Sinai Peninsula, Strait of Gibraltar, the Strait of Sicily, or across a 30 kilometer wide stretch of water at the opening of the Red Sea called Bab al Mandeb. Number 12. Yeah. The pharaonic civilization of ancient Egypt rose in North Africa somewhere around 3300 BC and constituted one of the world's earliest and longest lasting civilizations. The ancient Egyptian state continued until as late as 343 BC. Number 13. Yeah. At various points in time for varying periods, pre colonial Africa was home to as many 10,000 different states and polities. Examples of major kingdoms and civilizations include the Luba State, the Songhai Empire, the Kingdom of Aksum, and the Great Zimbabwe Empire. Number 14. Between the 7th and 20th centuries, the Arab slave trade took an estimated 18 million slaves from Africa to the Islamic world. African slaves were used for labor, household help, agriculture, or to be used as soldiers or concubines. Number 15. The more widely known transatlantic slave trade took as many as 12 million slaves to the New World between the 15th and 19th centuries. Slavery was officially abolished throughout the British Empire in 1833, and the 13th Amendment, which formally ended slavery in the United States, was ratified in December of 1865. Number 16. 
However, Europe wasn't done harassing the entire continent of Africa yet. During the late 19th century, the major European imperial powers thought it would be a great idea to colonise and occupy basically all of Africa, thereby creating numerous colonial territories from which Europe harvested resources and systematically subjugated the native African population. This was known somewhat euphemistically as the Scramble for Africa, and it was very, 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 very bad. Number 17. This process was formalised through the Berlin Conference in 1884-85, which established various rules and regulations for European colonisation and trade in the African continent, which, predictably, had zero African input. This convergence of dusty old Euro knobheads was convened because of fears that unregulated annexation of various chunks of Africa could lead to disagreement and possibly wars between the European powers. How civilised of them. Number 18. The only two areas of Africa that were not violently oppressed by the aristocratic European douchebags were Liberia and Ethiopia, then known to Europeans as Abyssinia. Number 19. Since the era of colonialism, many African states have struggled with instability, corruption, authoritarianism, violence and war. The vast majority of African countries are, at least nominally, presidential republics, but very few have actually managed to sustain stable democracies for very long. Funny what centuries of oppression by evil foreign powers will do to an entire continent. Number 20. Today, Africa contains 54 fully recognised sovereign states, more than any other continent, including hits like Nigeria, Egypt, Somalia and everyone's favourite bad boy, Kenya. Number 21. Africa also features a number of territories belonging to other countries, including, but not limited to, the autonomous Spanish cities of Ceuta and Melilla, the island of Reunion, which belongs to France, and the British islands of St. Helena, Ascension, and Tristan da Cunha. Tristan da Cunha happens to be the most remote inhabited place on Earth. Located around 2,000 kilometers from the nearest inhabited land, St. Helena, and 2,400 kilometers from South Africa, the nearest continental land. Number 22, oh, oh more delicate. Uh. Africa also contains several de facto independent states that are either partially or entirely unrecognised. This includes Somaliland, a region in Somalia that has declared independence from Somalia, and the Saharawi Arab Democratic Republic, a thin strip of land in the disputed region of Western Sahara. Number 23. The largest country in Africa is the mostly Arab state of Algeria, which covers a large area of North Africa, measuring in at around 2,381,741 square kilometres. Over 90% of Algeria's 40 million citizens live along the country's Mediterranean coast, mostly because the rest of Algeria is literally just a big chunk of Sahara desert. Number 24. The largest country in Africa used to be Sudan, until the country's lower sub-Saharan population split from the rest of the country to form South Sudan via a referendum in 2011, taking around a third of Sudan's land with it. Now, Sudan, sometimes called North Sudan, is only the third largest country behind Algeria and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Number 25. The Seychelles, a sovereign state made up of over 100 islands scattered in the Indian Ocean north of Madagascar, is the smallest African country. The sum total of the country's islands measures up at around 455 square kilometres, which is just under 0.02% as large as Algeria. Number 26. The Gambia is the smallest mainland African country, which is surrounded entirely by Senegal, apart from an 80 kilometre long west coastline. It follows the Gambia River roughly 320 kilometres inland before Senegal takes over. Number 27. The small nation of Lesotho, which happens to be an enclave that is surrounded entirely by South Africa, is the only country on the planet that sits completely above 1,000 metres in elevation, giving it the nickname the Sky Kingdom. Number 28. At 587,041 square kilometres, Madagascar is by far the largest island in Africa and is also the fourth largest island in the world. It mostly hangs out off the east coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean and is home to over 26 million people. Not, Not only that, that, Madagascar is a biodiversity hotspot, as over 90% of its wildlife is found nowhere else on Earth. Number 29. Bir Tawil is an area of land covering roughly 2,000 square kilometers between Egypt and Sudan that is unclaimed by either nation, constituting the only place of unclaimed land in the world outside of Antarctica. As such, several people around the world have jokingly attempted to claim Bir Tawil, but due to it being little more than a super remote area of hostile desert, no one has taken such claims seriously. That's it, I'm claiming beer to Will and renaming it Laurentia. You'll be my queen, Jennifer. Hurry, girl, it's waiting there for you. Number 30. Africa is also the world's hottest continent. A locality in Ethiopia called Dalol holds the record for the world's highest average temperature for an inhabited location, when an average annual temperature of 34.6 degrees Celsius or 94.3 degrees Fahrenheit to American folk was recorded between 1960 and 1966. 
That'll make you bless the rains down in Africa. Number 31. Africa also contains the world's largest hot desert, known as the Sahara, a word derived from the Arabic word for desert. So the phrase the Sahara Desert actually means the desert desert. Said desert desert covers an area of roughly 9,200,000 square kilometers, which is roughly the same size as huge countries like the United States or China. Number 32. Though many believe that the longest river is a certain river in South America that shall remain nameless, traditionally the Nile River is considered to be the longest river in the world. The Nile is thought to be approximately 6,853 kilometers and runs through 11 African countries before emptying into the Mediterranean at the Nile Delta in Egypt. Number 33. While it's not individually the highest or the widest waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe is indeed the largest waterfall in the world, based on its combined width of around 1,708 metres and height of 108 metres, creating the largest sheet of falling water on Earth. Just don't go chasing it now. Stick to the rivers you're used to, yeah? Number 34. The largest lake in Africa is Lake Victoria, which is found in the Great Lakes region. With a surface area of approximately 68,800 square kilometers, Lake Victoria is also the world's largest tropical lake and the second largest freshwater lake in the world after Lake Superior in North America. Number 35. Lake Retba is a lake in Senegal located roughly 30 kilometers northeast of the capital, Dakar, on the tip of the Cape Verde Peninsula. It's also known as Lac Rose, meaning pink lake, owing to the fact it happens to be bright pink. This is caused by a particular species of algae that releases a red pigment to assist in absorbing light. Number 36. The highest mountain in Africa is Mount Kilimanjaro, a dormant volcano in the eastern African nation of Tanzania that rises like Olympus above the Serengeti. Its elevation of 5,895 meters tall makes it the fourth highest mountain on Earth, allowing it to be capped with snow and glaciers despite its relative closeness to the equator. Number 37. The nations of Africa cooperate with each other through the African Union, which is headquartered in the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa. In case you're wondering, by the way, the African Union was established in 2001. Morocco withdrew from the African Union's predecessor, the Organization of African Unity, in 1984, following the acceptance of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic as a member state. However, Morocco was readmitted in 2017. Number 38. Several countries in the east of Africa, namely Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi, are planning to merge into a new country, known as the East African Federation. If this plan is successful, it would create the 11th most populated nation on Earth. Number 39. The continent of Africa is home to a total of roughly 1.2 billion people, accounting for about 16% of the world's human population. Number 40. Between 1950 to 2009, the number of people in Africa grew from 221 million to over 1 billion people, meaning the population quadrupled in less than 60 years. Number 41. The most populous country in Africa is Nigeria, with over 193 million inhabitants. That's enough for roughly 17 and a half million football teams. The, the meaning of life. With an estimated population of 12 million people, Cairo, the capital city of Egypt, is by far the largest single city in Africa. Cairo has had a fascinating life so far, from its early years in ancient Egypt through its time in the Ottoman Empire to a crazy little thing called the Arab Spring. You may have heard of that. Number 43. Africa has the youngest average population of all the world's continents, with over 50% of Africans under the age of 25. In 2012, the median age was 19.7, compared to the worldwide median age of 30.4. Number 44. The most popular sport in Africa is football, or for our Yankee Doodle viewers, soccer, which was brought to the continent by British colonists. The most successful African national team is probably Cameroon, who were the first African country to reach the World Cup quarterfinals in 1990. Number 45. The largest religion in Africa is Islam, which is followed by the vast majority of the Arab people living in the north, followed up by Christianity in second place. Following that are the followers of traditional African belief systems and a small number of religiously unaffiliated heathens. Number 46. There are at least 2,100 languages spoken by the people of Africa, with some estimates putting it closer to 3,000 languages. Number 47. Arabic is the most widely used language in Africa, spoken by between 140 and 170 million people, primarily in the Saharan countries of North Africa. Other common languages include Swahili, French, English, Hausa, Berber, Portuguese, and Spanish. Number 48. There are more French speakers in Africa than in France, which is a fun little fact if you aren't aware of how that happened, which is through hundreds of years of European oppression. Oh dear. Number 49. Similarly, the southern African nation of Angola has more Portuguese speakers than Portugal. Number 50. 
According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the country with the most official languages is Zimbabwe, with an incredible total of 16. Number 51. Southeastern Africa is the only place on Earth with languages that feature click consonants. Most famously languages like Kosa, which I cannot say properly because I cannot pronounce click consonants. What do you want from me? Number 52. A number of African words have also strode their way into the English language. These include classics like banjo, cola, coffee, jazz, and zombie. Sounds like a Saturday night for me. <laughs> what? Number 53. The Second Congo War, which lasted for eight years between 1998 and 2006, claimed almost five and a half million lives, making it the deadliest conflict since the Second World War. The conflict ultimately involved nine African nations, as well as about 20 armed groups. Number 54. The Parliament of Rwanda is the only governing body on the planet in which women outnumber men, with almost two female MPs for every male one. I would punctuate this fact with an enthusiastic appeal for girl power, but sadly, the female majority in Rwandan Parliament is due in part to the effect of the Rwandan genocide, which the majority of the victims were men. Number 55. Nigeria is home to a huge film industry that's often ranked as the second largest in the world by sheer volume of films made, with Bollywood in first place while Hollywood cries in third. The Nigerian film industry is called Nollywood because, <laughs> because of course it is. Number 56. Egypt is known all over the world for its incredible pyramids, but it isn't the only country with a passion for polyhedra. The Republic of Sudan actually has over 200 pyramids, far more than Egypt has, though they are quite a bit smaller. Number 57. The very first president of Zimbabwe was called Kanan Banana. Yep, President Banana. His wife Janet took his name when they married in 1961, and I really, really hope they wore pajamas to bed. Number 58. The official title of Ugandan dictator and all-round maniac Idi Amin was His Excellency President for Life Field Marshal Alhaji Dr. Idi Amin Dada, VC, DSO, MC, Lord of All Beasts of the Earth and the Fishes of the Seas, and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. Oh, I suppose if you're a dictator, you can wield that kind of power over people to make them say that long thing every time they see you. Number 59. Sabuza II was the king of Swaziland for 82 years and 254 months, the longest verifiable monarch reign in history. Throughout his life, he had 70 wives, 210 children, and over 1,000 grandchildren. Number 60. There's a famous image of the handprint of Nelson Mandela created when he accidentally placed his hands in black paint. When he wiped his hand on a clean piece of paper, the depression in his palm left an almost perfect silhouette of the African continent. Number 61. Gracia Michelle is the only woman to have been the first lady of two separate countries, as the widow of both former South African President Nelson Mandela and Mozambican President Samora Michelle. Number 62. The internationally famous football striker Didier Drogba is so beloved in his native country of the Ivory Coast, he was able to instigate a ceasefire during the nation's bloody civil war that left hundreds dead. After Drogba had led the Ivory Coast to qualify for the 2006 World Cup, he went on national television and begged for the combatants to lay down their arms, which, within a week, they did. He has since continued in his efforts to bring peace to his country. Number 63. Africa is home to the world's largest land animal, the African elephant, which is known to inhabit 37 African countries. Sadly, the African elephant is listed as a vulnerable species by the WWF, owing to the fact that some humans, for some reason, desperately want to make knickknacks out of their teeth. Nintendo 64. Africa is also home to the world's tallest animal, the giraffe, which lives in various parts of sub-Saharan Africa. The giraffe is also a vulnerable species, and is already extinct in at least seven African nations. Number 65. The world's fastest land animal, the cheetah, also lives in Africa. The cheetah will generally run speeds of 40 miles per hour in the average chase, but it's been recorded at speeds of up to 61 miles per hour, a speed that has likely been surpassed outside of human observation. Number 66. Africa is also home to the world's largest reptile, the Nile crocodile, which lives in, shocker, the Nile. Are you noticing a pattern here, by the way? Africa is filled with the biggest, fastest, scariest animals on Earth. The worst we have here in England are pigeons, squirrels, and particularly bad-tempered badgers. Number 67. The gorilla, which can be found in jungles across the African continent, is the world's largest primate. Funny, I thought it was my mother-in-law. Haha, <laughs> I don't have a mother-in-law. Number 68. Africa also has over a quarter of the world's bird species, which seems unfair. Stop hocking all the birds, Africa. Number 69. Largest four. Lake Malawi contains more species of fish than any other freshwater system on Earth. 
Stop hogging all the fish, Lake Malawi. Number 70. Despite hosting all manner of terrifying superlative beasties, none of the animals I've previously mentioned so far is the deadliest animal in Africa. That honor goes to the hippopotamus, which kills more people in Africa than crocodiles and lions combined. That's right, the hippopotamus is more dangerous than the croco-lion, my horrifying crocodile-lion hybrid that I created just to play god. Number 71. Owing to decades worth of paintings, literature, TV and films, many people expect to find tigers roaming through the jungles of Africa, relaxing in the sun, stalking prey and getting into finger-snapping West Side Storytel territorial disputes with lions and cheetahs. However, this is all absolute oh, because tigers are only found in Asia, not in Africa. Number 72. The Serengeti, a geographical area and ecosystem located almost entirely in Tanzania, hosts the world's largest wildlife migration on Earth, known unimaginatively as the Great Migration. Each year, 260,000 zebra, 470,000 gazelles, and an incredible 1.7 million wildebeest journey in a clockwise loop around the region, following the availability of grazing. It's estimated that around a quarter of a million wildebeest die every year while making the journey, as a result of hunger, exhaustion, or just getting straight up eaten. Number 73. Nearly half of all the gold ever mined has come from one place, an area in South Africa known as Witwatersrand, which literally means Whitewater Ridge. Gold is so abundant in Witwatersrand that the South African currency, the Rand, was named after it. And presumably so was Danny Rand, protector of Kunlun and sworn enemy of the hand. Number 74. In 1972, a pocket of uranium in the Western African nation of Gabon was discovered to have undergone self-sustaining nuclear fission for hundreds of thousands of years, making it the only known naturally occurring nuclear reactor. Number 75. The oldest surviving pair of socks were found in Egypt, which date back to the 4th century. They are bright red and have split toes as they were designed to wear with sandals. Oh, sorry, I was just sick of my mouth a bit. Number 76. The oldest mathematical object ever to be discovered is the Lembombo bone, which was found in the Lembombo Mountains of Swaziland. It's a short section of a baboon leg bone with a number of regular notches cut into it, and is thought to date back to approximately 35,000 BC. Number 77. The San people of Southern Africa today are known to use the same general set of tools that have been found in caves, dating all the way back to 44,000 years ago. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Number 78. The West African city of Timbuktu in Mali is occasionally referred to as the Paris in the medieval world, owing to its ancient intellectual culture. In recent years, thousands of medieval manuscripts have been unearthed there, including poetry by women, innovative scientific discussions, and legal reflections. Number 79. The flag of Mozambique features a red triangle on the right side containing a yellow star. It looks lovely, huh? Emblazoned over the star are images of a book, a farming hoe, and an AK-47 assault rifle. This makes it the only national flag in the world to feature a modern firearm. Which I'm not sure yet, no. Hmm. Hmm. Number 80. Prior to the violent ousting of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, the flag of Libya was just green. I cannot give a more detailed description than that, it was literally just green. Number 81. The flag of the Ivory Coast is often confused with the flag of the Republic of Ireland, owing to the fact that it's essentially exactly the same, but with the green and gold columns reversed. Number 82. The Liberian flag is well known for its striking resemblance to another perhaps more slightly famous flag. The Liberian flag differs from that of its American counterpart in that it only has 11 stripes and one star, whereas the American flag has 13 stripes and 50 stars. The reason their flags look so alike is because the nation of Liberia was primarily made up of former African-American slaves and their free black descendants who returned to the African continent rather than live amid the extreme racism common in the United States at the time. The name was specifically chosen to reflect this as it comes from the Latin liber meaning free. Number 83. The African Renaissance movement in Senegal is a huge bronze statue that depicts an African family standing resolutely on a mountaintop, looking westward towards the sea. The muscular father figure is holding his wife beside him as he triumphantly lifts his pointing baby in the air. The statue, which at 49 meters is taller than the Statue of Liberty, was designed by a Romanian architect and built by a North Korean company that has created similar, not at all subtle monuments in a number of African nations. Number 84. The Surma and Mercy people of southwestern Ethiopia are probably the most famous practitioners of the lip plate. The women of these tribes place increasingly large plates in a hole pierced below their lower lip until they can fit a saucer-sized plate in the hole. The largest lip disc ever encountered belongs to an Ethiopian woman whose labial bling measures an incredible 59.5 centimeters in circumference and 19.5 centimeters in diameter. Number 85. A single Kenyan tribe called the Kalenjin is known for producing most of the world's fastest long-distance runners. 
A number of theories has been raised as to why a single ethnic group that constitutes less than a tenth of a single percent of the human population dominates most of its long-distance races, such as living at relatively high altitude or having thin legs. But all of these explanations also apply to the other groups in that region. Number 86. Benin, a tiny country in West Africa, records more birth of twins than any other nation, at 27 twins per thousand births, almost double the global average. Number 87. Despite the fact that Nigeria is a republic, there are over 150 regional Nigerian kings who derive their status from the independent states and communities that existed before the country existed in its current form. One of them, Joseph Edozian, King of Asaba, used to be a professor at the University of North Carolina. Number 88. There's also a group of immaculately dressed Congolese men who are known for donning brightly coloured tailored suits while comporting themselves with impeccable manners and gentlemanly conduct. They call their group Les Sape, an abbreviation of the phrase Société des Ambient Cœurs et des Personnes Elegantes, which means Society of Ambient Makers and Elegant People, in French. This trend has its origins in French colonialism because, well, well, yeah, of course it does. Number 89. In the West African nation of Ghana, death is often viewed as the beginning of the afterlife, which should not be mourned, but celebrated. As such, a popular trend has developed in the country, which involves being buried in elaborate novelty coffins. Examples include coffins shaped like animals, aeroplanes, mobile phones, cameras, coke bottles, and even a giant chili pepper. Number 90. The nation of Zambia in Southern Africa had a space program at the height of the space race several decades ago. Started by school teacher Edward Makuka Nukaluso in 1964, the team was comprised of himself, a teenage girl, and two cats. Nukaluso called the team the Afronauts. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Number 91. There's a small but passionate subculture in Botswana of so called cowboy metalheads, who blend heavy metal with traditional African music and dress head to toe in black studded cowboy outfits. Hardcore. Number 92. There is an isolated tribe in the Kanyemba region of northern Zimbabwe called the Vadoma, who are known as the Ostrich Tribe. This is owing to the fact that a substantial minority of their population only have two toes, known as ectrodactyly. In those who have inherited the condition, the middle three toes are missing and the two outer toes are turned in. The prevalence of ectrodactyly in the tribe is thought to be a defect caused by the small gene pool, as tribal law prevents them from marrying outside the tribe. Number 93. The 7th of October 2014 was a very important day for the nation of Somalia, as it was the date upon which the East African nation first welcomed its very first ATM. Number 94. George Lucas filmed several scenes for Star Wars in the Tunisian Sahara Desert. Sadly, the sets are being slowly devoured by moving sand dunes. Oh, I hate sand. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Number 95. In South Africa, it's perfectly legal to attach flamethrowers to your car as a preventative measure against carjacking. Apparently, the general feeling in the country is that if you attempt to steal something, you have completely abrogated your right not to die in a fireball. Number 96. The popular Senegalese American R&B singer Akon owns a diamond mine in South Africa. His involvement in the industry has drawn criticism owing to its association with blood diamonds, referring to conflicts and wars connected to the illegal diamond trade. Aegon has claimed that his mine in particular is fully legitimate, and that he donates profits from his investment to local communities. Number 97. American guitarist Cisto Rodriguez quit music in the mid-70s after the commercial failure of his two albums, released in 1970-1971, after which he worked in several low-paying jobs for the next 20 years. Unbeknownst to him, his music had become extremely popular in South Africa. This is documented in the 2012 documentary Searching for Sugar Man. He only became aware of his overseas fame when his daughter found a website dedicated to him. Soon after, he was performing in front of thousands of adoring fans in South Africa, where one of his records had gone platinum. Number 98. In 2009, when Zimbabwe was experiencing extreme rates of hyperinflation, the nation issued a 100 trillion Zimbabwean dollar banknote, roughly equivalent to 30 American dollars at the time. It also meant that pretty much everyone in the country was both poor and a billionaire at the same time. Yay, Captain. Number 99. South Africa was the only country in history to have dismantled its nuclear weapons program in the name of world peace. Three other nations, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Ukraine, have also surrendered their nuclear arms, but did so only because their nukes had been inherited from the now defunct Soviet Union, which they didn't have the ability to control and maintain. Oh my god. It's number 100. In 2003, someone, or something, stole a Boeing 727 from an airport in Luanda in Angola. Authorities believe that two men, one American, one Congolese, took the plane, but past that, no one has any idea what the hell happened to it. 
That fact alone probably means it's crashed in the ocean somewhere. Maybe now a fish lives in it or something, I don't know. Number 101! Many people throughout certain areas of Central and Eastern Africa brew a distinctive beer that's made from bananas. Though the beer is bottled and sold commercially by a few companies, homemade versions of the beverage are used in culturally important occasions like weddings, Christmas, and other ceremonies. I'll drink to that, although not banana beer, that sounds f***ing disgusting. What can I say, I hate bananas. Anyway, that was 101 Facts About Africa. Did you find it interesting? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, what do you want to see? Let me know that in the comments down below too. In the meantime though, here are two videos you are really going to enjoy. Trust me on that or your... Well, not your money back, you didn't pay anything. So, but tr just trust me on that, okay? Alright, bye! It's gonna take a lot to drive me